Snoop Dogg. Oh. You know, oh, my camera's dirty. Hold on. Oh, bro, I can't have a dirty I like camera. Armpits turn out. Which I mean, I like it. I just want, I just want it to be more pink. Yeah, you can kind of see it on the bottom, but the top it, it's still dark. Marathon. Yeah. I'm trying to look like. Yeah. Avril Lavigne. Very cool. Perfect. Yeah. What are you watching there? <laughs> Number two, chasing the cow. Always trying to lasso the cow again. What in the world? What in the world is this? Dog, cow in the pool. Wu Tang. Wu Tang, baby. All right, let's do this. Morning. Hey, good morning. All of us are You're all by yourself. Just hanging out. Oh, your hair changed color. Like when last time I saw you on Instagram, it was. It was orange. Did you see Delaney's hair? Yeah. See, Delaney, see, I think, she's like, I did it three times, it didn't turn out. I think she did it on purpose. She didn't want to come in all bang, pink. Uh, all aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> no, yours looks good too. Here, have you seen it yet? No, no. No, see it? See? See, it looks great. <laughs> oh, look, I just walked in. Let me see. Oh, wow, it's what? really blue. Right, great. Wow! Wait, let me see. Let me see the top again. Is it? I didn't wow, see it's the, really blue. Is it? Yeah. What's this? <laughs> this I found this in my. Garage. That's classic. I found this in my garage. <laughs> That's an old school. Wow. <laughs> this will be black in black and white. So this yeah. Will, yeah so you wouldn't even know what color this is. Your oh. hair looks like the the lights that they put up in Britain to commemorate the first responders. <laughs> that that's what I was thinking. Showtime. Thirty seconds. I already jumped on the trampoline for 20 minutes this morning. <laughs> but. What up, what up, what up, what up? Have been pre recorded. Party in, party in, Ray, ooh, ooh, Kyle. It's John Jay and Rich. Our phone number is 877-937-1047. You can call us right now and Delaney will patch you through. You can also text us. Text JJR and whatever you want to say to the number 96893. Delaney will text you back or she'll call you and then she'll patch you right through. Um, you know, it's a crazy world we're in right now, right? It's just crazy. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. right? Being quarantined and social distancing and masks. And I got to be honest, whenever I see people in masks, it's still, it's still, mm-hmm. whoa, it's whoa. Weird. It's jarring. Yeah, it's weird, right? So, like being in the grocery store, which I don't go to very often. My wife's trying to go every five days to the grocery store. And just even if you're out and about, you see someone on a bike with a mask or walking with a mask. But I have to tell you, a whole something happened the other day that just was really a, a weird culture shock. So you know how I got in a car accident in January? My car, I got rear-ended, right? So my car went into the body shop. And it's been there for four months. Four months. It's finally done. So after being there four months, they were like apologetic and they were like, hey, it's done. I t- they were like, how about we drop off the car to your house instead of me going there to pick it up? And I was like, nice. that's that's cool. So um, I'm in the front yard. And so for them to drop off the car, they, you know, they obviously got to have somebody who's got to pick up the driver, right? Mm-hmm. So two cars pull up in my front house, front of my house. It, and it was like, they pull up and they both drivers get out and they both have black masks on. Right, and they they get out and they throw the me the keys to the car. They don't. Sh- it was almost like a reverse carjacking. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what was I mean? it fast? It was fast, but it was like when you see two guys get out of a car at the exact same time. They're wearing black masks. It was like whoa. You know what I mean? It was just this moment of like, that's crazy. There's my car. Who's that guy in my car? It, it was like out. everything was reverse. So wait, you're giving me the car back right now, not taking it. You're waiting to see them like assassinate somebody with like yeah. nunchucks. Normally, like assassins. You're in a car and a guy in a mask comes up, almost like, get out of the car. And you're like, you give him the keys to your car and you get out of the car. Instead, it was like, get in your car. I was like, Thanks, man. Thank you. See you later. Because I took my car around the block to see how it went. And do you love? Do you love it? Did you miss it? Yeah, I missed it a lot. But I drove it around the block. So here's what happened. I drove it around the block. And I pulled it into my garage. Now, my friend Pat, who owns a car dealership, he's been letting me borrow a, a different cars from his dealership. So I texted him on Saturday, and I said, hey, my car's here. 
you know, you can come get your car. He's like, yeah, I'll pick it up. And he's never come to pick it up. So I haven't driven my car yet. I'm still driving his car until he comes to pick it up, mm. which is because I'd rather put miles on his car than my car. Right. But because his car is just a, a loaner car that they give out to people in service. And so, but at the same time, I'm like anxious because I just want to drive my car because I love my car. And it's been four months. <laughs> it's been four months. <laughs> and driving my car too, when I drove it, I just drove it around the block when I got it. It was just so weird driving it, you know, and it was, and what's funny is, it's the second kind of car that I've had like this, of this model, and the interior is black. And my son Dutch looked inside and goes, wow, they changed the interior, huh? Because they used to, my other car from five years ago, the interior was white. And it's been so long, he doesn't remember what the interior is like. <laughs> I'm like, no. And then I'm like, was it white? No. I'm like, God, it's been so long. So essentially, it's like I have a new car. That's fantastic. That's I know. I know. It's really neat. But seeing two guys get, uh, like, it was so... Like one of those movies where, you know, like Angel Has Fallen, where all those, you know how those movies where there's a like uh, an assassination attempt and all the cars are driving really close together? Yeah. You know, yeah. like, you know, the front end of the back end, go, but then you see guys get out at the same time, but they have masks. And I wanted to tell the guy that worked at the car dealership, maybe you should get white masks or something, because the black masks are so intimidating. Right. They really are, especially because they're in suits. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? I it's not that. like they're in jeans and a t-shirt. Do you know like, some companies, though, they've got their code. Like, if you go to Dutch Bros, they all have the black masks on. So maybe that's a thing for the company that they got they got the their color, their sort of uniform look. I don't know, man, but it was intimidating. And then and then listen to this. So then they get out of the car, and they were, they spray down the car, and they wash the whole, because they were driving it, and they're cleaning, disinfecting the whole side of the car. And then a guy goes, he gets out, he goes, with the mask on, he's like, hey, I wasn't sure if you wanted to be on American time or in European time, so we left it on European time. And I was like, well, last I checked, I'm in America. <laughs> Why would so they not be sure? <laughs> if there's any way you could put it back on American time, that would be great. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll never have it on American I'll time. I'll never have it. I don't, I don't need to be 2,400 hours <laughs> or whatever me, time it is in England. <laughs> Tell me, mass man, why weren't you sure? So, so he goes, okay. And he goes, I'm going to need your keys. So I give him the key to my car. He gets in my car, and then he starts touching everything again with his fingers, you know? And so I, uh, I don't need this guy. To I happen to capture... No. Uh, you making your breakfast today while John Jay was telling that story. And in fact, so I'm much safe. so much so that I decided to leave John Jay's story early <laughs> <laughs> to see how we're doing here. People are going to be so disappointed. Yeah, so I'm going to go. I'm checking in with you during yeah. this story. How was your breakfast? It's we're fantastic. I toasted the toast a little bit more today. Ooh. You see that? Ooh, I do. A little brown, oh. almost a little black. Looks delicious. Extra toasty. It's very good today, I'm not going to lie. You, Just uh, the right amount of peanut butter. Staying not healthy? Sure. Feeling good? Nah. <laughs> You're looking pretty fit, though, man. I'm trying. Modern West, that sure looks good. Yeah. Look at that. Week. Well, enjoy your breakfast. I'm going to go check in and see what's uh, going on in the show. And I was like, that's good, man. I like, I like these little entrepreneurs trying to do all this stuff. And it turns out those were Kemp's shoes. <laughs> oh, okay. Did Kemp, Even more of did an Kemp entrepreneur. Did know that no. this was happening? Okay. No. Very he was going into his like. brother's closet, cleaning up his brother's shoes, and selling his brother's shoes, which no. I thought was hilarious. That's that successful. Hilarious. That's great. <laughs> I know. It's so funny. That's free money right there. So then when Kemp, we were having dinner, and Kemp's like, I don't care. He just said, nothing rocks that kid's boat. Nothing. What? Yeah. So then Jake, the older brother, Jake goes, uh, well, if you're going to sell shoes and sell my shoes too and Dutch is alright I want 10% and he's like I'm gonna give you 10% and he goes let me see the shoes you have so Jake brings out these shoes he has that he's never worn before there's these LeBron 6's or something Dutch looks them up and they're worth $380 Whoa. and Dutch goes I'll get these I'm listening to this whole conversation Dutch goes I'll get these shoes for you I'll sell them for you I'll clean them up for you even though they don't need to be cleaned up you give me 10% and Dutch is like Jake's like okay deal I'm like, what is happening? It's such a, like, hearing them talk percentages and stuff. He's 13, the other kid's 17, and now Dutch is like this little negotiator. And I'm like, yeah. And then I say to them, I'll help you sell them. I'll promote it. I said, but all this money goes to charity. Every single thing you sell, we donate. And they look at me like, what are you going about? I'm like, yeah, that's how it works. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, oh good. nice. Well, I was, I was wondering if he was doing this for a reason, like if he was trying to raise money for something that he wanted. I, I think for his pocket, he wanted to buy a new headset uh, a microphone broke for his video games. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, but I'd rather teach them to give it and to donate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a good lesson. But so, I also think Dutch probably could have got more than 10%. <laughs> I know. That's you know? right. <laughs> and then last night, you remember I told you guys how we watch these TED Talks? So every every night we watch TED Talks or a motivational video. And my wife uh, said on Sunday, she goes, here's the deal. Everybody this week is going to pick out the TED Talk for the family to watch. 
right? So last night was Dutch's turn, and we he doesn't nobody knows what it is until we sit down and watch. So when Dutch loaded up the TED Talk to sit down, it was how video gaming is good for the family and good like there's actually a ted talk and how playing video games is good for you and it's 20 minutes long that and kid we, is genius so we sat down and it was shot in 2010 and it's amazing to see this video on 2010 about where the gaming industry was in 2010 and where it is now and her predictions of where it's going to go and how was she was she on in it in 2010 she goes in the next decade gaming there's half a billion people game around the world where I see gaming going in the next decade, she goes, maybe a billion people will be playing online around the world right now, and it shows everyone in the United States playing, and a couple people around the world playing. And I Google it now. There's 1.5 billion people playing around the world. Okay. Yeah, wow, like she, she was, was pretty on it.